Okay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Daksha, and I will be your host on the Red Corner Show for the Youth segment. I would like to thank Dr. Shamila Ramjuan for giving me this opportunity. In saying that, a few weeks ago, I had the privilege and honor of being the keynote speaker at the Ladies of All Nations International event for the Young Inspiring Le Leaders Online. And there was a young gentleman um, who is about four years old. And he had actually mentioned that um, to everyone that one day he wants to become a CEO and the change in the world. So in saying that, this is powered by Ladies of All Nations International, as well as in the International Youth Society. And I will be chatting to a lot of young and influential people and youngsters around the world. So today, as my first guest, I, I have an, a very young and motivational speaker. Her name is Brittany McCormick, and she is all the way from Johannesburg, South Africa. Brittany was born with cerebral palsy. Brittany's goal is to encourage others to believe that what seems impossible can be possible. She aims to improve lives through teaching others to defeat the odds and overcome challenges. Brittany wants to help build programs for the educational and corporate sectors so they can improve the lives of others with, disabil with disabilities and help them live their true purpose. Brittany, welcome. It's so good to have you on the show. Hi, thank you for having me. Absolute blessing to be here and to share my story. Thank you so much. So I read your bio. You are a very, very inspirational young lady. So I, I'm very thankful to have you as my first guest. So I know that you have cerebral palsy. And for those of us who don't know what cerebral palsy is, could you please explain what that is? Cerebral palsy is a condition that you're either born with or that happens during the pregnancy. Um, it is not affected by your brain. It, is, it only affects you physically. Um, so most disabled con or cerebral palsy conditions um, either happen from seizing in the womb or under development during birth. Okay, so you know my mom actually owns the Princess D Menstrual Cup and we actually donated one of the Princess D Menstrual Cups to a girl who had cerebral palsy. So thank you so much for that background knowledge of what cerebral palsy is. Um, going forward, how have you overcome men mental challenges with cerebral palsy? To be honest with you, I've had to just turn to my faith and turn to God to know that I will be able to get through these things, not only with my faith, but with the love and support of my caring family. They have been nothing but supportive of me in every single journey that I've faced, every single journey that I've overcome, and every single journey that I've struggled to achieve. Yeah, I think if you have the support of your family, that is fantastic. And I know your mom and dad always support you. They're always on, on the chats and giving the 100% support to you. So you're very lucky to have them in your life. Um, what is your main goal as a keynote motivational speaker? Because you are a motivational speaker and you speak a lot and you encourage people. So what is your main goal as a keynote speaker? My main goal is one of two things. To help people see the ability and not the disability, but also to help people believe in themselves. So many people have doubts within themselves that that becomes a disability. And instead of that becoming a disability, it should become their ability. Believe in yourself, believe in the courage that you want to have. Believe in that, make that a part of you, make it second nature. I actually love that because as soon as we started, you were actually motivating me because I was telling you this is our first chat and you're my first guest on the show. So thank you very much. And I actually love that. And in saying that, can you please explain to, to us, how do people treat you with your disability? You know, to be honest with you, 
a lot of the time it's negative, but most of the t- well, some of the time it's positive. And when you have that negative feedback from people, somebody will say, oh, well, what's wrong with you? Why can't you walk? Um, um, in, in that, you need to see your ability and not let that affect you. Um, but when it comes to, to positivity, people are blown away. They're like, oh my goodness, you're so motivating. You're incredible. And, and that's awesome to, to hear. That you that you are encouraging many around you, even in the small ways. You know, I, I believe very strongly that it's not about the big things, but it's about the small things. So for me, it's one step at a time. It's the way forward. I 100% agree with you because I also feel that um, people shouldn't look down upon people, and I love how you said. It's not pe- about people being disabled. They have a disability, but it's not necessarily that they are disabled. Um, and I actually love that, that, that that's what you said about them. And how do you feel the disabled should be treated? Well, let me ask you this question. How would you like to be treated? Like a normal person. Not, n- no different to a person who can walk, who can run, I would have, I would like to be treated the same. So if you're talking yes. about something, don't make me feel, don't belittle me in why you're talking to other people about certain issues. And that's, that's, what, it, that's what I'm trying to say to many people around the world, is just because we're disabled, doesn't mean we don't hear you, doesn't mean we don't feel what you feel, doesn't mean we don't want the same things. It just means we have to find another way to have the same result. Yes, definitely, definitely. And you don't like to be um, looked down upon, perhaps. Yes. Uh, I give a prime example when I speak. When you speak to a person, eye contact is key. Same with a disabled person. When you talk to them, sit down, don't stand up. This can be quite belittling to many disabled people when a person is standing up talking to you, rather sit down, it makes them feel more respected. Yes, and more comfortable as well. Yes. Yes. And and what what means the most to you as a motivational speaker? I think what means the most to me is the fact that I get to make an impact. Even if it's one person, it doesn't matter. There's still an impact. There's still something that they take away with them for the rest of their lives. Definitely. I always believe you can talk to 100 people, but you'll always get that one person that will actually want to hear you out and that actually resonates with you as well. Yes. And why out of all the disability stories should one listen to yours? I think out of all the disability stories, they're all incredible. But it's up to the person. Why should I listen to you and not to the other person? Yes. Each story has an impact and each story touches differently. And I believe mine touches completely different to every other story because I'm not afraid to stand up and say, I want you to see my ability and no longer my disability. I want you to hear my voice and not just see me. I want to be value. I want you to be impacted. And that's why I believe my story should be heard. And not I love that. I love that. I love that you're actually changing the narrative of, yes, you are disabled, but you have the ability to change it and you are doing something about it. So well done to you for actually doing what you're doing and making an impact because I can tell you, you are definitely making an impact in a lot of people's lives. Thank you very much. So if you could change one thing about your disability, what would it be? If I could change one thing, to be honest with you, I would like to walk on my own. But I know 
that through faith, I'll get there one step at a time. Doesn't have to be the biggest step, but one step at a time. Definitely, and I always, small, I always believe all that. All the small creates the biggest milestones. Yes, yes. And I always believe, you know, if you're doing what you're doing now and it's working for you, continue doing that because miracles do happen. And I can tell you that one day you will be able to walk. walk. Um, but what you are doing now in motivating and sharing your story with the world, I feel that you should continue that because you are helping a lot of people through their, their disabilities as well. And you are impacting their lives. Um, and in saying that, why motivational speaking? Motivational speaking has, I've, I've always believed that it's, it's going to be a big part of my life. I'm not um, strongly educated. Yeah. And I've always believed that even though you're not strongly educated, you still have a voice. And what better way to express your voice then through motivational speaking. Yes, and I, and I read your bio and you've had, you've accomplished so many awards. So tell us about that. I, I know you spoke at, um, a, at a wellness team at Dimension Data in South Africa. Tell us more about that. So I, <laughs> Dimension Data was actually my very first um, talk. It was a few years ago. And after that talk, I knew in deep in my heart that that was it. This is my future. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Lovely, lovely. And what, where do you see yourself in five years? What, what would you like to see yourself doing? To be honest with you, I'd like to see myself continuing with motivational speaking and just going from country to country, city to city, platform to platform and just encouraging many, many people. I love that. And you're impacting so many lives and so many youth along the way with you. Um, and we here at Red Corner Show, ha we have, we will support you throughout your career and throughout your successes. Um, but any last words for the youth of today? My, my last words for the youth of today would be Believe in yourself. It might not seem possible now, but a few months time, a week's time, it will be possible. Believe in yourself, believe in the small steps that you have to take. Trust the process. A very wise man once said, first you have to sit up, then you have to stand up, then you have to learn to walk, then you learn to run. And I learned to apply that shortly after reading it. I learned to apply that to my life. I can't remember the man's name, but if you're watching this, the best advice you could ever give to anybody was that with, with those words, because that you can apply to every part of your life. Thank you so much, Brittany. I will definitely remember that. And like you said, just believe and do what you're doing. Um, so Brittany, thank you so much for being my first guest on the show. Um, yes, it is very short because this is for the youth segment. Um, and I can say that you have definitely impacted me and inspired everyone else who is watching tonight. So thank you so much. And I would like to wish you all the very best for your future endeavors and keep reaching for the stars. Thank you so much. And thank you for allowing me to be here. It's been such a blessing. And I'm glad I could help make an impact. Lovely. And I'll definitely be chatting to you again. But to everyone watching, thank you very much for joining in. If you would like to share your story with us, please email us on the red corner show at gmail.com and yes yeah, sending you all my loving prayers good night everyone bye bye